Hi everybody! So today I'm going for a no makeup makeup look. Um, so I have like a tinted moisturizer on. I put a little um one just one coat of Sephora's um, Lush Flush lip stain on, and then I'm gonna do a mascara review for you. That's what I'm doing today. <laughs> and this is um, Maybelline Volume Express Mascara. It's the falsies. So it says there. Okay. And it says that it will give you more visible lashes. It fills in the gaps. It will give you instant volume. Um, a spoon brush. So the brush isn't exactly straight. It dips a little. And it gives you a false lash effect. It's new. And I'm going to wear it in brownish black today because... I don't have any makeup on today. <laughs> Sorry if I'm scaring you. <laughs> and something at the bottom it says has with Pro Kerna Plus fibers. So apparently there's fibers in it that help it to create that. And then number 282 brownish black in case you're wondering. Unique flexible wand helps to lift and separate the lashes to provide the look of more lashes. All mascaras make you look like you have more lash. <laughs> so, there's that. Uh, patented spoon brush in Kena, Kerna, K-E-R-A, Kera, fiber formula, uh, instantly builds eight times more of the volume without clumping to complete the false lash look. Ophthalmologist test it. Uh, for best results, hold the brush with the spoon side against the lashes and sweep from root to tip. Repeat until the desired look is achieved. Do not let dry between coats. Removes easily with soap and water. So, that's what it looks like. There is the brush. See how it kind of Whoa. What? It's like the top doesn't have, and the bottom here, barely has any um, bristles. How weird is that? Let me turn it this way. Look, you can see the bristles. And that looks more like a normal mascara wand. And you look at it that way. That way it doesn't. I'm going to do this without a primer. I did curl my lashes with an eyelash curler first, but let's give it a go. Uh, this no clumping business. <laughs> is a lie. Okay, so, because I know how to use a wand pretty well, I was able to declumpify them But as I applied the mascara, as you can see, I'm wiping off what got up here um, with a Q-tip because that's annoying. And then the other thing that happened is because the wand is so big, I got the top lashes and then the bottom lashes started to get done too, but not completely. So it looks weird because you're not getting them from root to tip. You're just getting them like on the ends, which looks weird. Let's do the other side. This is one coat, as you are seeing. I'm not particularly a fan of this brush. When I put mascara on, I want to be able to hold the brush no matter how I want to hold it. Like, I want to be able to take it out and just put it on, not have to, like, look at it and make sure it's, like, the spoon side up or whatever they're saying. So that's drawback number one. 
on this side because I got to use the tip instead of the end. I didn't get that same effect at the bottom as I did as I mentioned on that side. So, oh, I think they're already dry, so I can't go back and do them. Because it says, do not let dry between coats. I'm trying to get more length out of that side. Okay, so. Again, if you look at my eye, there is a ton of little black things because the mascara got all up on me. I hate that. And then if you try to clean it off right away, because you want to clean it off right away because you don't want to leave it on there, um, if you hit the lashes, the lashes will um, like stick together. And then that's frustrating as well. So my number one pet peeve about this mascara so far is um, the one was too big for my right side. And then it always got on the lid, which is annoying, especially when you have eyeshadow on too. <clears throat> Either way, it's annoying. Um, I also didn't really like the shape of the brush. Um, I found that it was more of a hindrance than a help. As far as the mascara goes, it's decent. For me, I prefer a more, more false lash effect. Um, I like, if, if, if I'm wearing false lashes, my eyelashes are like almost up to my eyebrows, okay? So this is not giving me a false eyelash effect at all. This is actually giving me a pretty natural eyelash look. So I'm going to say that this is not one of my best mascaras. Um, I'm going to say that it does a good job though. As you can see, it did make them look fuller. Um, it does make them longer. And it's not really clumped a lot. So you can work the brush so that they don't get clumped. That's my review. Ooh. I just had to pull that bottom part off my lash because it was annoying. And I hope this was helpful to a lot of you. This is the Falsies uh, Volume Express Mascara. And that is the information about it.